So I'm setting up the bows now. Uh, these bows will stay here until the end of April. I want them to take shape. Uh, I'm cutting some bigger bows. Uh, so I don't want them to fit through. I don't want it to them to fit right through the hole. I want to be able to taper them so that the the jam against each other and only half an inch comes out each side. Uh, so I'm cutting bigger bows because uh, they work better. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. So that's another couple of bows. Going to be there to. The end, of, the end of April. It's actually ash wood I'm using. I suppose uh, hazel would be best, but there's no hazel being coppiced around here and they're a bit mature, so there's plenty of ash, so that's what I'm using. Okay, I've got four sets of poles uh, bending until spring in the woods. Just dotted around the place, not only one place. Probably see them there. There's the other three sets up there. So, I'll do another set maybe tomorrow. Uh, and that will do it. There I've got my ridge poles, they're hanging on a tree. They'll sit there to spring until I start to build the tent again. So hopefully by spring all the poles have took shape and I can carve the ends of them so they just fit in the holes snugly and, they, and uh, they're quite tight. So we'll see what we like it is then. So the bow tent I'll be making is 8 foot long, 6 foot wide and 4 feet high. And uh, the back section, that's where the, that piece of canvas, it'll be a smaller piece of canvas, that's where the stove pipe will come out. So I don't want to make a hole in my main tarp canvas. So that's why I'm putting the stove at the back. 